All right, so this is an unfortunate aspect of the orthobiologic injection. So our PRP and our stem cell therapies are painful, both during the injection and also after the injection. Part of this is because we can't use a lot of anti-inflammatories or we shouldn't use a lot of anti-inflammatories. We also shouldn't mix a ton of anesthetic in with the PRP or with the bone marrow or the adipose tissue because there's some literature to suggest that after a certain concentration, we start to get detrimental effects on the platelets and on on the stem cells and other progenitor cells that are found in bone marrow and adipose tissue. And so the first phase of healing that we have to go through is the inflammatory phase. And that inflammatory phase can be painful. And so those first, you know, we tell patients on average three to seven days after the injection is generally gonna be the worst, but each of those days is gonna get better. We like to use different supportive methods. So we might use things like alternating hot and cold. We use something a lot called SPM active, which is our pro-resolving mediator because we want to help resolve the inflammation. We just don't want to suppress the inflammation. So unfortunate that we have pain after these injections. However, it's a part of the process that we have to go through uh, in order to really stimulate that new healing response, which is where we get the improvements and the, and the good outcomes.